All right, in this video, I'd like to talk about exponential growth uh, and decay. So to begin, our little formula for exponential growth slash decay looks like this. All right, read this as a equals a sub zero. That's also referred to as as the the phrase a naught l sub zero uh, means something. We'll talk about that here in just a few minutes. Times e to the kt. Yes, this e is the 2.71828 blah 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 that goes on forever. Uh, irrational number that we talked about before. That is the same e. Uh, and that is the um, variable k and uh, the variable t. Alright, so what do all these things mean? Well, a naught a sub zero here is the initial amount present. Whenever you have that little sub zero there, usually means the initial whatever your variable represents. In this case, a represents the amount, so a sub zero is the initial amount present. So at time equals zero, how, how much is there, right, initially? Then we have k, which is called the growth uh, decay constant. If k is greater than zero, then we have um, exponential growth. And if k is less than zero, then we have exponential decay. All right, so t is time, and a is the amount present at time t. And t could, time could be in minutes, days, years, whatever the unit is that we're playing with. All right, so that's what all the variables, that's what all the variables mean for our for our formula. This is a just kind of our general exponential growth decay model. There are other variations of it, but this is the the one we're going to uh, talk about right now. All right, so here's an example. All right, bacteria is growing at a rate of 23% per hour. If there were initially 350 bacteria, how many will be present after one day? Well, uh, we note that uh, T here is in hours. Um, we've got initially 350 bacteria, so A sub zero is 350. So, and we want to know how many how many will be present after one day. All right, so our formula looks like this. Okay, so we're looking for a. We know that a naught is 350. K is the growth rate, uh, and this and it is this is an exponential growth because bacteria is is growing, it's increasing. So it's 23% is the growth rate. So we're going to change that to a decimal, so 0 0.23, and then t is time. All right, so uh, after one day, well. It's growing at a rate of 23% per hour, so T is in hours. So if we're talking for a whole day, how many hours are in one day? Well, 24. So 0.23 times 24 would be the exponent on the E. All right, then you bring out your calculator uh, to calculate up uh, 350 times E to the 0.23 times 24, and you get 87,372. 0.26 or something that goes on forever. So we're going to say it's about 87,372. So after one day, we've grown from 350 uh, bacteria to 87,372. Yeah, that thing's growing pretty fast. So, make sense? All right, so I have another concept I would like to talk about, and it is called half life. Now, half life is the time it takes for the initial amount to be cut in half. So half-life is time, right? So how long does it take for our initial amount to be cut in half? So if our initial amount was 100, how long does it take for that to decay to 50? Uh, that's, that's called the half-life. So as, as we can tell, we're decreasing. So this is, this is exponential decay is what half-life is, an exponential decay. So here's an example. All right, the half-life of palladium-100 is four days. After 24 days, a sample of palladium-100 has been reduced to a mass of 7 milligrams. For part A, we want to know what the initial amount of the sample was. All right, so, uh, well, how do we go about doing that? Well, the first sentence here, the half-life of palladium-100 is four days, that's going to allow us to figure out our, our um, decay constant, right? Because we know that... Uh, um, Whatever we start with, and they, they, we weren't told really what we're starting with here for this four days thing, we know that we want half of that to be there after four days, right? So if A naught is our initial amount, then after four days, we want half of that amount to be, to be there. You guys with me? This is the amount at time t. Well, at 24 days, we want half the original amount. So one half times A naught, right? A naught times E. Uh, we don't know what K is, that's what we're going to be figuring out here in a minute, and we know that it takes four days. 
So t is 4. So when t is 4, uh, our amount that we have left is 1 half our initial amount. And we solve this for, for k. Everybody see we can divide both sides by a naught, and that goes away. And really, you're just left with 1 half equals e to the 4k. Right? Everybody see that? You just take the log of both. Take the natural log of both sides. You get one natural log of one half equals um, the natural log of e to the four k. And what does that do for us over there on the right? Right. That gives us the natural log of one half equals. And then the natural log of e to the four k is just well four k. So then you can divide both sides by four, and you get k to be about negative point one seven. Three, three. I rounded a little bit there. Okay, so k is negative 0.1733. So now we've got k. So therefore, our formula now looks like this: a equals a naught e to the negative 0.1733 t. We know what the decay constant is, and it's negative because it's decaying. So everything worked out the way we were expecting it. All right, so now we go back and we say, all right, after 24 days, a sample of palladium has been reduced to 7. So we know that t is to be 24 days, so, so t is to be 24, and we want the amount to be 7. So we're solving the equation 7 equals a naught e to the negative 0.1733 times 24. Because right, we're doing it for 24 days. Uh, then you just bring out your calculator. This this e to the negative 0.1733 times 24, that's just some number, right? We just figure out what the decimal number is. So we're going to divide 7 by that number, and we get a naught. And so a naught is about equal to 448.142. Okay, so the initial amount was 448.142 milligrams. All right, so first we had to go use the half-life idea to figure out the, the decay constant, and then um, you know plug the decay constant in, and then actually answer the question that was being asked. All right? All right, so let's go down here to B, where we have how much will remain after five weeks. So how much will remain means we're looking for the A. We now know what A naught is. It's 448.142 milligrams, and E... And we know the the k is negative point one seven three three, and t. All right, so t is in days, right up here. So the half life is four days. So t is in days, and we want to know how many how much is going to be there after five weeks. So how many days are in five weeks? Well, five times seven is thirty five. All right, and then you just plug that in the calculator. And you get A is about equal to 1.0404 milligrams. So a little more than one milligram remains after five weeks, right, from the initial 448 that we started with. All right, am I with me? Make sense? I got one more I want to add to, to this part here, part C. All right, so how long will it take for only 30% of the initial amount to remain. Hmm. All right. Well, we started with 448.142. We want 30% of that to to remain, and we want to know how long it's going to take to do that. So we're looking for time this time, right? So uh, the A part is 30% of the initial amount, 448.142. So 0 0.3 times 448.142 equals the initial amount. times e, k was negative 0.1733 times t. And our goal is to solve for t. Everybody see how we got everything into the formula um, appropriately? And now we've got that one letter to solve for. All right, now notice that uh, you've got 0.3 times 448.142. And over here you have 448.142 times the e thing. So we can divide both sides by 448.142 and just leave us 0.3 equals e to the negative 0.1733t. And then you can do your natural log of both sides. 
and you get down to the natural log of 0 0.3 is equal to negative 0.1733. So then divide, you know, find the natural log of 0 0.3 in the calculator, then divide that by negative 0.1733, and you get t to be about 6.9. 473, and this is days. Anybody with me? Okay. All right, so it takes about seven days for uh, our initial amount of 448.142 uh, to get down to, about, to be about 30% of that. All right, so that's the idea on exponential growth or decay. So whenever something is growing or decaying exponentially, then uh, the plan of attack is probably to begin using um, by, by using this formula, uh, this idea, all right. Sometimes you have to do uh, uh, figure out the k, the growth decay constant first. So use the information wisely to do that. Figure out the k, and then you can go answer the problem that was originally asked. All right. Okay, that's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.